my God, it's my place in business. And then I'm trying to sleep, I mean, work back there, and, 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 and I, I, get, I get bothered. I walk out of the office, Steve Lee is waiting for me. Oh, Howard, I want you to know, I took down all those pictures of my Facebook. I'm like, but you know, I already told you that, and I told you that. I go, Steve, uh, I didn't even say Steve, I still don't know which one he is. Are you serious? No. Yeah. I don't know if he's hard or so. He said you he said you told him that you were kidding around and you know who he is. Well of course I do. And, and now I'm in this awkward position where the guy's saying that's my I go I go, of course I know who you are. Because you know what he said to me? He said to me, he goes, Gary, I gotta tell you. He goes, I've known Howard. He doesn't since, know me. He goes, I've worked with Howard since W R I W. No, he hasn't. Yes, he has. He said he used to bring you stuff at R W. But I I don't think that's what he said. Well you've talked to him about a major decision. In your life. I have no recollection of every talk. But he said, he said, he said, um, I, I wasn't even from WRW. He goes, it's a little... What decision did I What was the word he used? Um, he, he said that he... Oh, I wish I could remember the word, but he was, he was upset about it. He said it's sort of, uh... It's insulting. It's insulting. Yeah, well, that's right. Well, wait a minute. When you were about to go to Detroit and mm -hmm. the class, yeah. he claimed that your program director called him on the phone and had him talk to you. What? <laughs> Like, your program director said, I hate to lose you, but I, I have to encourage you to go. So Steve called and me? Steve talked to you and said, yes, this is the right move for you. Hey, Steve, guess what? It's the shittiest time of my life. <laughs> Thanks. That's the last time I take his advice. <laughs> That's that was why like, you forgot it. It was so not. The Dwight Douglas said, we don't go there. <laughs> the shittiest station in the country. <laughs> and he was the consultant. Oh. But, uh, listen. Steve's waiting outside my door. That's a fucking no-no. If it's not a video, you may have cut off his access anyway, and then I have to find out. I, I, I didn't even cut off his hanging out with Tracy, waiting for because he was right out there. And then I go, oh. Now I'm in a conversation I don't want to be in. He goes, you know, I can't believe you are who I am. It's very insulting. And I go, of course I know who you are. Come on. I'm sure which one. But he said that to you? Yes. Oh. That, that's a comfort. He just like, I hurt you. I know who I am. I go, no, 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 of course I do. It's just on the air, I say. Well, now I'm trapped. What am I going to say? He goes, you know, I've already taken all these pictures. I go, oh, I really didn't, you know, it's fine. No, no big deal. I was just, you know, doing an on-air shtick. You want to let... No, you're misleading him in two ways. Yeah, of course. You know I'm a little bit You know I can't answer anybody honestly in real life. But I'm only real life is here. The, the, uh, the hurt of just saying to him, hey, I appreciate you taking out the pictures. I just don't like the way it looks like that. Yeah. I, I, that's too too much contact for me. <laughs> You've already had too much contact. Yeah, I mean, I, I just watched me get out the door. I just wanted to go home. Uninterrupted. I tell people that all the time. Yeah, Even no, no one should. Oh, Tim doesn't get it. So this is Tim. I go, you know what? Today's probably not the day. I just got to tell this one thing. Yeah. Yeah, every day, same thing. Yesterday, Tim tells me something. And I go, uh, he tells me, and I go, he goes, and neither do you. I go, tell me what it is real quick. So that's something I go, we don't need a meeting. <laughs> I know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need a meeting. We don't. <laughs> so the meeting's unnecessary. Well, you made a move yesterday. I thought you were just coming out and going to your office. But apparently you needed to talk to Tim. No, I was feeling bad for him to take him off. Oh, is that's that what that was? Tim puts himself in a position where I have to call him off. Then I feel guilty. Then I have to go have a way too long conversation with him. Because I was just, you know, like Tim and I were supposed to have a meeting, and that's why no. we were standing there. Oh, oh. And don't, please don't you, stand there with him. Of, <laughs> please get him out of the room. It just happened that I was, you walked out as, as we were meeting. Oh, I see. Don't have a meeting there. And then uh, you then sort of indicated to Tim that you wanted to talk to him a little bit. Oh, J.D. said there was Scott making noise in his office, not Jason. Yeah, keep Scott out of there, J.D. Not Jason. I said, gee, I thought he didn't like to talk to people. He actually pulled Tim aside to talk to No. Yeah, anyway, so that was embarrassing. Like a guy hanging out waiting to get a hold of me to explain why he puts pictures of me up on his Facebook. And there really isn't a push. I'm like, well, why would you put pictures of me up on your Facebook? Like, what, what's the point? I don't even understand that kind of weirdness. Because he posted pictures of me. You know, I had to say, John Morgan, they've all been published. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. But, like, that means I have to like them. I mean, some other asshole published them, and now, now it's not that Steve's an asshole. I like it. You yeah, know. that picture he's probably talking about, they, they probably end up with, what happens, they get the photographer, probably end up with the billboard magazine. Right. But why 
Why does Steve have to put it on his Facebook? The, uh, pictures of me. Who's picture of him? Why? He was excited about his relationship. Oh, he's in the picture. Oh, is he? Yeah. I know. It's him. It's you. Him and the me couple. Oh. You didn't notice? No. <laughs> you were so funny. No, I saw the me puppet and I saw me. Look, he's right there. <laughs> he's very short. <laughs> now, you really need to show the pictures of me up. Just put pictures of himself up and that's it. Maybe I'm. So if you were him and his children. Right, so if you wanted to put that picture up and he blurred out your face, would that be a good thing? Um, I don't care. <laughs> that's fine with me. All right, please. Anything else I got to talk to Mad Dog about sports, which I know nothing about, but Mad Dog will fill me in. Ralph Sorella has another new project. He's development director for a new app called Champion, the ultimate comic magazine. It's an app that's all about the world of comic books, great TV shows, and great movies. Sam Simon is the publisher investor. For now, the app is free. Ralph wanted to charge, but he was outvoted for now. It's iPad only for now. And we'll I saw it, Oh, it was good, but you know, like Sam sent me a note. I was, I guess I should have figured out that Sam was involved. Uh -huh. He goes, the app is big. We're meeting with um, uh, venture capitalists, three of them today. And he goes, can you imagine a rich Ralph? Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, I'll like, uh, believe it when I see it. Right. I think Sam's trying to get me to talk about it. I just see he invested a bunch of money in Ralph's new app. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was very nice. It's, he, he well, there's to write about. He writes in the comic. Yeah. yeah. This is his world. And he knows it's right. And some photos start out black and white, and then the color fills oh. in. Because he's a magic. He just straight. This is a comic book. And, and this is how it comes to color. I go, Ralph, how do you get this comic book? We, we go to the comic book company, so they give it to us. I said, oh. Why can't I get that from a comic book company? Yeah, why do you want to figure it out? I don't know. But he, uh, he's got it all figured out, and Sam says...